Hey everybody, it's time for progress update number three. And as you can see, there is no motorcycle in this shot for the first time in any of my progress updates. And I will explain why. If you saw last week's video where I test rode a Triumph Bonneville. Holy crap! I feel like James Bond! At the end of that ride, I was riding back on my bike and it started making a weird noise and uh, the speed just shot down dramatically. I was on the highway going like 70 miles an hour and then it just dropped to like 60 or 55. Uh, and I kept trying to accelerate and it wouldn't accelerate. So I pulled over, stopped it, tried to start it up again and it wouldn't start. I took it to a service shop. Turns out that I killed my bike. Charlie has been in a coma for the past three weeks. What happened was, last year, I decided I was going to do zero bike maintenance. It was, I was already really overwhelmed with everything I was learning about riding, about gear, about everything about the world of motorcycles and decided to not even touch maintenance until next year, which is now. Um, that is a fatal mistake, especially if you have an old bike or a one cylinder engine, you have to check your oil levels every week. I didn't. I thought if I just took it to a service repair shop very regularly, and it's not like one one service shop messed up. I took it to multiple ones fairly regularly and would just say, check everything, because I don't do anything. Um, by not checking my oil levels, my oil levels got so low that I completely destroyed my engine. Right now, it's been at the service shop for three weeks. It has to have a lot of parts replaced. I have a list right here. The piston, the cylinder and gasket, piston rings, base gasket, head gasket, also called valve cover. So, Charlie is in a coma. He's completely not functional. He won't even turn on right now. My bike's a boy, by the way. People keep calling him a she. And just to let you know, we're a little bit offended. So anyways, um, that was my plan for the next year, my second year of riding to learn maintenance. Um, I didn't realize what a fatal mistake it would be by, n by doing none, no maintenance. So... My biggest recommendation, if you are a new rider and just getting your bike, not necessarily to do your own maintenance, but to um, get a service manual and in your service manual for your bike, which you can find online on eBay or, or um, Amazon if you um, got your bike used and it didn't come with a service manual. You can get that and in that it'll it'll give you some uh, maintenance tips, maintenance techniques, but also some things that you can check up on your bike on like a weekly basis at least. Um, oil levels, very easily to check, easy to check. Um, I don't even know how to check that on my bike right now. Um, brake fluid, that on my bike there's like a little window at the top and most bikes where you can see the color of the fluid and usually it's clear but if it starts turning brown or like the color of Coca-Cola, time to change it. If you have a chain, um, you gotta lube it regularly. Anyways, this isn't a how to t maintain your bike video because that's not what I know. So, this is a progress update video. So anyways, so that's where I am right now. I've been bikeless for the past three weeks. I'm very depressed. And, um, so I mean it was my fault. Um, yeah. So, and what's ironic was... It happened on the day that I thought, oh, this is my next bike, Triumph Bonneville. See, I said it right. I said Bonneville. I didn't say Bonneville this time. So, um, on a more positive note, in, in uh, tradition of progress updates, let me talk about what else I have done and learned. So since my last progress update, seven months ago, I'm, I mean to do it like every four to five months, but I forgot. So in my last pro since my last progress update, I have ridden in the mountains eight more times. I have 
gotten curves down. I finally had one ride where I didn't get out of the lines once. My last ride I did, but that's also because I was going on 180 in Blood Mountain, and there are some tough curves there. So now, from now on, next time I go in the mountain, I'm going to focus on that spot, just like I did last time, just to practice those tough curves. Um, I've test ridden a lot more bikes. After riding Kate Street Triple R, it was so much fun. I love that bike. Wow! Oh. And it was so smooth, so responsive, and that's when I realized it's time for me to upgrade. Not only am I always being left behind when I go on group rides because the people I ride with have bigger engines than I do, or uh, faster bikes than I do, um, I just love the the more, the higher sophistication of a more sophisticated engine bike. So I've been looking, I've, I've been on the search, but I'm pretty sold on the Triumph Bonneville engines. Uh, that same engine is also in the Triumph Scrambler, which was the same bike used in Jurassic World. Um, the Triumph Street Twin, the Triumph Street Cup, they're all beautiful. I really like all of those bikes, but my budget is really low right now. It's like uh, maybe 6000 and at a dealerships, those bikes are like 10000 12000 Unless you get used, especially Bonneville. Anyways, I'm getting off tra topic. So anyway, so I um, set on that because after riding Kate's bike, I was seriously considering sport bikes, but I just don't like that look. Um, and then the next cruiser up for me would be really big unless I go for a Harley 1200 or a Harley Sportster, which would be a good next cruiser, uh, with more power that's still small. Um, but I just have emotional things against Harleys, so I cannot do a Harley. <laughs> but anyways... So I can't do sport bikes because of the looks. I'm just not sold on it. But I did test ride some more. I test rode a Yamaha R3, which I don't know why I did that. Um, it rides really similarly to the Suzuki S40 Boulevard 650cc one cylinder. Yamaha R3 has two cylinders, but um, that's definitely a good beginner sport bike, just by the way. I test rode the FC07 um, 700cc. Um, I think two cylinders. I forgot. But it just wasn't as smooth and responsive as Kate's Street Triple R 675cc. So I was like, if I'm gonna get a sport bike, I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get the Street Triple R over the YZ07. Haven't ridden R Yamaha R6. I considered that, but um, I don't want a sport bike, so I don't know if I'll, I don't know. Um, so my goal for this year is to do the Tale of the Dragon in North Carolina, really winding, curvy roads in the mountains that are famous for their curves. Um, I have crashed in gravel twice. Whoa! Whoops! So there are my makeup. Oh, it looks so blotchy. Let me fix it. Good enough. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I've crashed on gravel twice. So good to know, um, make sure you have an off-road bike if you're going to go on gravel because it is very easy to fall on there. And also don't grab your front brake if you're on gravel because uh, it's uh, you lose traction that way. So I learned that. I've done two more group rides since then, or I think I was two, maybe more. So I think that's about it. You know what? That made me feel a lot better looking at the accomplishments I've made in the past seven months in riding. I've been feeling really crappy about myself after killing my... Killing Charlie. So, it's a good, I, I feel a little better. But anyways, um, oh yeah, and I have an announcement to make. I'm going to be on a YouTube break. Or I'm going to have spotty uploads. I really don't know. I'm just going to say that I'm going to be on a YouTube break. Um, because that sounds better than saying I'm going to have spotty uploads and then having no uploads. So I'm just going to say YouTube break. Maybe I'll upload something in the meantime. I'm not sure. But I need some uh, time.
and uh, maybe the next video you see from me, I'll have Charlie back, or I'll have a new bike. I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Take care of your bikes.